So this week, because it is Women's Month, woo, 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 we are talking about women of the Bible, biblical womanhood. And y'all, I have decided that I want to talk about Hannah. So the other day I was listening to Pastor William McDowell and he said something that I never really saw. I mean, I saw it because we all talk about it, but the way that he presented it, I was like, wait a minute, whoa. And I really began to see how God has done this from time and time again. And here's what I'm talking about. So we all know that Hannah is the mother of Samuel and Samuel anointed David to be king, okay? So she is very significant. Hannah was the wife of Elkanah, okay? And Elkanah also had a second wife, Penina. But Penina was able to give Elkanah children and Hannah struggled for years and years. Why can I not bear a child, Lord? What's going on here? And it's the story of many, many women, right? They're asking the Lord, why can't I bear a child, God? I have been doing the best I can to serve you and to be the woman I'm meant to be on this earth. But God, just give me this one thing, Lord, okay? And so what happened to Hannah was Penina, her husband's second wife, began to torment her, began to make fun of her, um, and, and just be like a pestilence in her own home, literally. And so it made her very sad and grieved, right? Because she wanted a child of her own. She didn't even need Penina to, to mention it. I obviously want a child for myself. But this is what Pastor William McDowell pointed out that I loved. So he began to talk about how Penina's you know, little torment and the push and everything he, she was doing to Hannah was literally used by God to um, invoke a cry out of Hannah. Because as we begin to read a little bit more into 1 Samuel 1, you will see how Hannah goes with her husband to the temple and she begins to cry and she is crying so hysterically and murmuring words that Eli, the priest, is literally like, are you drunk? Like, why, why did you come to this temple? Why are you drunk at this time? Are you okay, woman? Like, and she was like, yes, I'm okay. I'm just crying out to God. And I love that. We even see this in Jeremiah 9. If we keep reading our Bible, God will provoke a cry because he wants something to come to pass. He's like, I am desiring for you to cry out to me for this. So maybe there's something, it may not be a child, but there's something else that you desire for God to birth in you. Ooh, thank you, Holy Spirit. I'm ministering to myself right now. Okay, bless the Lord. Maybe there is something that you're desiring for God to do for you. And God is waiting for you to just cry out for he's like i want you to have a desperation for it because this something that you're bringing forth is big hannah was birthing samuel a prophet okay samuel is a big deal in the word of god he was a big deal samuel means heard by god god heard him when he prayed he was a big deal to his nation Okay, and so the the Lord has some a big deal inside of you that He's trying to birth. Maybe it's not your physical child. Maybe you're a man and you're watching this, but there's something that the Lord has placed inside of you that He desires to pull on out. Glory to God! And so we know we gonna pray. So y'all make sure you go to the next video that I'm gonna post a little bit later today and pray with me because literally the Lord is trying to birth something. He's trying to push you to cry out for it. So will you cry out? Will you cry out?